Math is a wonderful thing. Math is a really cool thing. Hello. On this presentation, we are going to show how to use our Casio calculator to graph box and whisker plots. In our previous example, we graph this set of data. So we followed some procedures on how to graph the box and whisker plot of this data. First, we order our numbers from least to greatest, and then we and then we find the median, and then the lower quartile, and then the upper quartile. We also find the um, lower extreme and the upper extreme. So the lower extreme that we got before was equal to one, and then the upper extreme was equal to fourteen. The lower quartile is equal to 4, and then the upper quartile was equal to 10, and the median is equal to 6.5. Note that we have two middle numbers here. That's why we took the average to get the median, which is 6.5. All right, now we are going to use our Casio to graph the box and whisker plots of the same data. So first, we have to go to the stat menu, type in all these numbers under list 1, 8, 11, 14, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 14 elements and to check so we have here 14 numbers also all right next we are going to change our graph type into box and whisker plot so we have to press F1 F6 note that as of right now our graph type is a scatter plot so highlight this graph type and then change this into a box and whisker plot. Press F6 to access more menu. Now we have here the box, um, so we have to use or we have to press F2. Note that as I press F2, the graph type will change into box and whisker plot. Alright, now we are ready to grab this data. Press exit, press F1, and then we have now our box and whisker plot. Now the question here is, how are we going to identify what is this um, lower extreme, what is the upper extreme, what is the median, to identify the five different parts of this box and whisker plot. We just have to press F1, then scroll down. Now look at this N. Our N here is equal to 14 which is actually the number of elements that we have. Next, just scroll down until we identify the min x, q1, the median, the q3, and then the max x. I'll just copy this for the meantime. All right, these are the parts of our box and whisker plot. So the min x corresponds to your lower extreme, your q1 is your lower quartile, your median here is 6.5, q3 is your upper quartile, and then the max x here is the upper extreme. Once you have these numbers here, you will be able to easily graph your box and whisker plot. <laughs> Uh oh, just ignore what just happened, okay? So this is one of the questions that I gave before. So let's solve this question um, using our Casio. So first press exit and then delete these uh, numbers under list one. So just um, press exit and exit again. Um, press F6, then F4 to delete all the numbers. F1. Alright, we are ready to type in 
these numbers under list 1. So we have 83, 75, 89, 122, 108, 98, 130, 94, 111, 125, 101, and then 105. All right. So we have 12 numbers. So let's try to verify. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. All right. Next, um, I need to press the... Um, I need to press graph. I don't have the graph here, so I have to press F6, graph, then graph 1. And then we have our box and we square plot. Okay, note that earlier we set our graph type into the box and we square plot. We only need to do that once. Okay, um, so once you graph this, since our graph type is in box and we square plot, it will give us box and we square plot. So how do I identify the lower extreme? Just press F1, scroll down, your minimum X is your lower extreme, which is 75. This is 75, this is 75, 75, 75. All right. Um, our lower quartile is 91.5. This is close to 91.5, but this is not equal to 91.5. So we can now cross this one out. 91.5, 91.5. All right. Next, the median is 103. 103, 103. Oops, 103. All right, the median here is not equal to 103. So we can now cross out option D. Next, what is our upper quartile? 116.5. This is not equal to 116.5. This one is, so we can now cross out option A. Therefore, the answer is letter C. You're a good boy, Leonard.